G'day guys, Rusty from Impact Dynamics. I'm here with Ivan from Magneto Speed. How are you? Ivan? Good, thanks for coming by and seeing Good us. Mate. No worries, seems a very busy show for you. Yeah, we've no been doubt. busy. Now, we, these things shouldn't be overly uh, unfamiliar to our audience, the chronographs. We've used them for years and they've been absolutely sensational. Can you tell us a little bit about how they work? Great, yeah. So. Um uh, unlike the optical chronographs that exist, we don't use optical sensors to detect the bullet paths. We use uh, basically what's a Hall effect sensor, and they're located here in the bayonet. So as the bullet passes over, it disrupts the magnetic field, and we're able to measure the time it takes to travel between the two sensors, which gives us the velocity. The reason that's an advantage is because it's impervious to any lighting or weather conditions or any muzzle blast that might obs obscure an optical chronograph. Um, the other big advantage why uh, our customers like them so much is, especially on a busy firing line, you don't have to call it cold to get in front of the firing line and set up your chronograph. You're just able to attach it right here, start shooting, and you have your velocities a lot quicker that way. Yeah, yeah brilliant. And you've got two models? Right. So we have two models. Um, we have what's the V3, which is what's pictured here, and we have the Sporter. Um, they're both using the same technology and they're both capable of the same accuracy. The big difference is what weapons they can go on and, and how, what the display looks like. Okay. So the Sporter, you're limited to barrels that are one inch in diameter yeah. and muzzle brakes or muzzle uh, flash suppressors that aren't any longer than two and a half inches. Um, so that's going to rule out any, any suppressors or any bull barrels, yeah. things like that. Um, the display is also a much more simple display. It has no SD out. Um, it's, it's for the most part when you shoot, it's gonna show you the velocity and you would write that down. Whereas on our V3 model, as you, if you can see here, you can do a whole shot string. It's gonna automatically show you your computed min, max, average, and standard deviation. You can also export that onto um, a SD card and put it in a computer and it'll come up in a nice spreadsheet. Um, I've yeah. used one for many years and I've never put it into the computer. Yeah, just, so try, try exporting try the data and then yeah. in the computer and it's a good place to put notes about like the load or what your weather conditions were that day and then you can save it or print it out, yeah. put it in your load development book, that type of thing. Uh, the V3 also um, has different attachment options, so if you had a really large muzzle brake like this, you, yeah, we, have an, we have an additional accessory, so this would be like for a 50 cal. Yeah. Um, it'll also allow you to attach it to some pistols. The Sporter, okay. you're limited back to just straight straight barrels for the most yeah. part. Yeah. Um, they, they are, you know, there's a significant difference in price. Depending on where you are, the Sporter is typically about half the price of the V3. Very good. And where, where is best to get them in Australia? So uh, from from Rob at Huntsman's Outdoors is our, our uh, is is the best is our only yeah. authorized dealer there. Yeah. Very good. And how long has it been around for the company? So uh, we've uh, been selling these chronographs in one form or fashion for about five years. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And you got some new products sort of on the. On yeah, the go we, have some, we have some new, uh, yeah. keep, keep an eye on us because we have some new products that we're excited about that aren't quite ready for sale yet, yeah. but y'all will see them soon. Brilliant. Yeah. Excellent, guys. Make sure you check out Magneto Speed and keep an eye out for those new products. And uh, we'll catch you again. Thanks, Thanks Ivan. Thanks. Cheers. You can take this turret cap off. And that should spin out like that. And you see inside here, we, we've sort of got another hidden turret. This is what we're going to use to zero the rifle, and then we're going to lock it down. Who you've got to mention, you've got to read it and accept his speech for your award. Now if you know it's good for you, you've got to give it up right now before you go. Mm -hmm. So you can either use it as die holders, yep. or we actually have trays that can go onto here, or up on top of the press to give the loader basic versatility. Plus you have projectiles in there. Exactly. Or, yeah, right. Yep. Okay. So this the press stand will fit into the mech jig fixture. So okay. from the shot shell side of the